Scott or Stan. Let's talk a little bit about helping youth leaders mentor youth leaders. Now, this was all brought about by a discussion on our YouTube channel about secession plans, and we'll get into that. But as scout leaders, your first task that we have when we accept a new position is to identify and mentor our own replacement. This is all part of a secession plan, and this is no different for the youth, and we, as adults, need to set that example. Now, all too often, it's usually the next in line is a friend, and that would be good, but other characteristics need to be considered. Ability. Has the intended recruitment have the actual skills to take on the responsibilities for that position? Availability. Is this something that, the, that your replacement is willing to do and has it in their own plans? Capability. How long will you need to mentor your replacement before they can take on the responsibilities? These are life skills that need to be considered. The ability, the availability, and the capabilities. A lot of people claim that a good multitasker makes a great leader. There seems to be a great deal of confusion over multitasking. A human can only do one task at a time. Multitasking is being able to break down projects into multiple steps and then switch back and forth between them. Unfortunately, those who think they can do more than one thing often do neither. And this could be a real problem when leading individuals. Scout leaders need to work with the youth to have them find and mentor their own replacements. Eventually, an assistant wants to be the leader. Eventually, scouts age away from the unit. Not having that replacement puts everything into jeopardy. Every youth leadership position should have an assistant or a team that's active and willing to step up. When I went through Cub Scout training as a Cub Master, I was taught to make a plan, work your plan, or else plan on something else happening. So it's important that we continue to mentor our own replacements as the youth should do. The very first thing is to let them know that they need a replacement and they need to help them learn the job. Everything from senior patrol leader all the way down to the bugler needs to have some kind of structure there for it to continue. Giving your replacement tasks is important, but you have to make sure that all the abilities are there, all the availability is there, and that all the capabilities are there. The youth should understand this also, and it should be a unit-wide secession plan. I have seen, by being a unit commissioner, I've seen units completely crumble and fall apart because of the senior leadership leaving or moving on to another unit, which is tragic for everyone in scouting. Having a secession plan is critical thinking, and you have to have people that are being mentored, adults and youth. And the youth can do the mentoring. A big part of that is knowing that they have to get a replacement in line so that they can move up and move on. We do a lot for our scouts. We work really hard and keeping them progressing forward, always striving for higher ground is a critical skill. Make sure that they're not held back by not having a fully capable, available, and able replacement. Keep up that really good work and I'll see you on the trail.